من ذا الذي يقرض الله قرضا حسنا who is out there anyone you know من الذي is enough in arabic من الذي يقرض الله من ذا الذي هل من فرد هل هناك واحد anyone out there من ذا الذي يقرض الله anyone out there is there anyone at all that is going to give Allah a beautiful loan a good loan Allah is good for it. you know when somebody takes money and they say I'm good for it bro what does that mean I'll pay you back. I'm reliable. Give me a good loan. And hasan also means you didn't put an end date on it. Like, hey, you better pay me back in 20 days. Qard hasan is open-ended whenever you can, right? Now, I don't know if, I, if you're the group. I think this came up in Surah At-Tawbah. I'll repeat myself because I have no shame. I'll repeat myself. If your mother came up to you, my mother was here today. If your mother came up to you, and she says to you, Naman, can I borrow $20? I promise I'll pay you back. When I can. My mother comes up to me and asks not if she can have $20. She doesn't say, give me $20. She says, could you please let me borrow $20? I promise I'll pay you back. Urdu mein kehte hain, glass mein doob ke mar jau. Right? Chullu bhar paani mein doob ke mar jau. Right? I would want to commit suicide. My mother thinks I'm so greedy. I'm so in love with money that I wouldn't just give her $20, I would what? Lend it to her. And even then I would be reluctant because I'm not so sure if she's good for it. So she has to say, I'll promise I'll pay you back. Is that embarrassing to me or no? That's the, the, the most humiliating thing you can hear from your mother. Mom, why are you asking like that? I am yours. I am a part of you. I owe my life to you. Why did, I, why did I have to scoop to such a low level in my relationship with my mother that she would have to use that kind of language to ask me? How could I have neglected her so much? How could I have been so greedy that she thinks I'm so greedy that the only way I can convince, she can convince me to give is if she says, it's a loan, I'll pay you back. But I'm not talking about your mother or my mother. Allah is telling me, Allah is telling you, hey, he could just say, give me. Whose is it anyway? And what's in my wallet is not mine. That debit card is tied to account, an account, and the account, the money in the account isn't mine. He could just give me, it's mine. He could say. He says, you are so greedy now. You think it's yours. And if it's yours, you can loan it, right? This expression isn't just a beautiful expression of infaq fi sabilillah. It is a means of putting the Muslim to shame. How greedy have you become that you have to be given loaning terminology with Allah? Man ladhi, it's supposed to revive in you. Ya Allah, no, no, no. I give. Qaddan Hassan. I'm ready to give. It's supposed to put our, 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 you know, our, our, our muru'a, our chivalry, you know, our integrity in Islam to shame, this phrase. That's what it's supposed to do. فَيُضَاعِفَهُ لَهُ Oh, then he'll multiply it for him. وَلَهُ أَجْرٌ كَرِيبٌ And he'll have a gracious reward. He'll have a, a, a noble reward. يَوْمَ تَرَى الْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَالْمُؤْمِنَاتِ The day on which you're going to see believing men and believing women. يَسْعَى نُورُهُمْ بَيْنَ أَيْدِيهِمْ وَبِأَيْمَانِهِمْ their, their light will be running forward, like beaming out. يَسْعَى It will rush out from right in front of them and on their right hands. So you'll see believing men and women that have light coming out of them, from their chests, from in front of them, and from their right hand, I told you the light of their sincere iman, that iman that Allah revived in the beginning of the surah, that He tried to maintain by making us do infaq. That same iman is going to stick out of our front, and when we spent with our right hand, and we spent what Allah had given us, the light is coming out of our right hand, and these are used as the torches to navigate the darkness of judgment day, so we can make it to the gates of paradise. So anyway, let's talk about Rahma, Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim a little bit. Both of these words have to do with the word Raham. They have to do with the word Raham. Which is what my talk was about back in Malaysia, but I'll just repeat one or two things from it. The word Raham actually means, has the meanings of intense love, care, concern, and mercy. Mercy is the last part of it, not the first part. Love is first, care is first, concern, and then mercy. 
This is Ar-Rahman. This is Rahman. When we call Allah Ar-Rahman, we already acknowledge that Allah has love for us. Allah cares for us. He's concerned about us. And He will show us mercy. Though that's the acknowledgement inside any word that has to come with Ra, Ha, and Meem. Allah is Rahim. Allah is Rahman. Allah is Rahim. But what is the difference between Ar-Rahman and Ar-Rahim? In this difference, there is a world of beauty. Oh my God. I mean, you will appreciate Allah like nothing else except in these two names of Allah. Allah just called Himself Master, didn't He? Rabb, Master. And I gave you the separate meanings, but at the, at the top of it all is Master. Now when you have a master, he has authority. And when you think of authority, you don't think of love. You don't. And Allah is telling us right away, I am a different kind of master. You will never find a master who will be described with Ar-Rahman and Ar-Rahim. You will never have a... You pick any other master, they'll never give you love. Ar-Rahman actually does three things. I want you to remember three themes inside the word Ar-Rahman because of the way it's spelled. Number one, it is extreme. It is extreme. It is beyond expectation. That's the first. Extreme and beyond expectation. What that means is Allah is not just loving, He is what? Extremely loving, beyond expectation. So whatever you expect from Allah, from love and mercy, know that it is beyond your expectation. That's the first meaning. The second meaning of Ar-Rahman is that it is something happening immediately. It's something, you don't have to wait for it, it is happening immediately. In other words, in Ar-Rahman, we acknowledge that Allah is... You don't have to wait for Allah to show you love, or to show you care, or to show you mercy. It is actually happening in its extreme form when? Right now. But the third part... So the first one was extreme, the second one is right now. Here's the third part of the meaning. Oh my goodness, this third part of the meaning is kind of hard to... It's hard to take in when you first hear it. it. Sounds wrong, but it's actually correct. It's temporary. But then you know what we're saying? We're saying Allah's love is extreme, it is beyond expectation. Allah's love and mercy is coming right now, but don't mess up, because if you do something so bad, you might actually be disqualified from it. Because it might be taken away. And we'll talk about how it can be taken away, but we'll, we'll leave that for now. That's Ar-Rahman. What's the next name of Allah? Ar-Rahim, you have to remember two things about Ar-Rahim. Ar-Rahim, number one quality, that it's permanent. Number one quality of Ar-Rahim is, anything that sounds like Rahim is permanent. Is that different from Ar-Rahman? It is, huh? The second quality of Ar-Rahim is not necessarily right now. There are two qualities of Ar-Rahim. One, it's permanent. Two, it is not necessarily right now. So we only think about the future when our immediate concerns are taken care of. Allah understands who we are. So Allah says, Ar-Rahman, here, I took care of your immediate concern. But when your immediate concern is taken care of, where does your mind go? Into the future? He says, Ar-Rahim, I took care of your future too. Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim. SubhanAllah. And now in Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, when Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhu, what a genius. He was asked, what does it mean? He said, Ar-Rahman is for this world and Ar-Rahim is for the Muslims in the next life. He just said one brief statement, Ar-Rahman is for this world and Ar-Rahim is for the next life. And you understand the genius of this man because he saw something. He saw that this world is temporary. And which name is temporary? Ar-Rahman. And he saw that one name is permanent and which life is permanent? Next life, subhanAllah. He just sees it right away. The Sahaba saw it right away. It takes me 25 minutes to explain it to you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. If you enjoyed this video, please do share it with friends and family. If you want to see more videos from this series, click on the box at the top. If you want to see other videos, click on the box at the bottom. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks.